In this video, I'm going to tell you the five funniest books I have read in 2022. Hey everybody, welcome to Book Talks with Miss Thomas. I'm Miss Thomas, and if you love hearing about new books or good books, then hit that subscribe button. And if you are returning, welcome back. Um, so it's 2023, if you can believe that. And it's been a busy, busy, busy year for me. Um, and now, since it is the new year, I want to talk about some books I enjoyed last year. And what better way to kick off um, a discussion of books that I really enjoyed than with a video about the funniest ones. And then in another video, I'm going to do five different books about five very different women that I enjoyed in 2022. And I'm also going to do a video about five young adult books um, that I really enjoyed in 2022. But I want to start with the funny ones. So let's get to it. All right, so the first and funniest book that I read last year was called Dial A for Aunties. Hello, Auntie. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed that book. So that book was uh, a really fun book about a girl who... Uh, she grows up in Los Angeles, I believe, and her mother is Chinese and her father left or did he die? I can't remember, but the father's not in the picture. And so the mother's four sisters help raise her. So here is this girl. Her name is Medi, and she is raised by her mother and her four aunts. So Medi is raised by her mother and her four aunts. And the mother and the four aunts are these um, Chinese women that have immigrated to America. Medi grew up in, I think it was Los Angeles. And it's just very, very funny. I love these meddling women, these four four women and the mom who just, um, there's a few things that uh, <laughs> they don't understand. Uh, in particular, the mother starts, uh, what do you call that? Catfishing. She gets online looking for a date for Medi and she doesn't understand the uh, emojis and the different things that she's communicated. And she puts Medi in a <laughs> precarious situation that ends up with Medi actually killing her date in self-defense, um, but in a funny way. It's not like, a, you know, there's nothing really upsetting or triggering in the book. And so Medi puts the date in her trunk and goes and tells her mother and her mother calls the aunties and they just try to figure out what to do. <laughs> And it's just a really fun book. Um, by the way, none of these books are especially uh, reverent. They're not Philippians 4 books. They're funny. I wouldn't read something that's really vulgar or crass, but these do have some uh, lightly uh, crude situations sometimes. Uh, there's definitely some foul language in some of these books. Just heads up. If that's something that would offend you, maybe this video isn't for you. But if you uh, don't mind a little bit of um, crass humor and vulgarity, um, a little bit, nothing, you know, over the top, then I think you might enjoy some of these books. So along the same lines with Dial A for Aunties, where um, this girl accidentally kills someone um, is Finley Donovan is killing it, which I loved that book. And I read um, the sequel, Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead. And I believe there's another one in the series that I can't wait to read. Um, I saw the cover, but I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, Finley Donovan is Killing It is a funny story of a professional author who is talking with her agent about um, a murder that she's writing when a woman from, she's married into the mafia and she overhears the conversation and she really thinks that Finley Donovan is a professional hit woman. <laughs> so she tries to pay her to kill her mafia husband, I believe. And it's just one thing leads to another. And it's just a very silly, uh, funny book about, you know, Finley Donovan and her, her nanny Vero and um, her, her children and Vero and Finley, especially they get into some funny predicaments. And it just the friendship there was really fun, too. All right, another one, The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. 
Um, that one, I, I've only read that one book by that particular author. I think it's Abby Wexman. Let me make sure. Waxman. It's Waxman. And um, I am going to get another one by that author because I really enjoyed The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. Now, Nina Hill is a woman who, she's just a cat lady. She has her cat. She works in a bookstore and she enjoys trivia night. And she pretty much wants to live an uneventful life, but that doesn't work out for her so well because come to find out her free-spirited mother never bothered to tell her that her father was a very, very wealthy man. She has to attend the reading of the will for her father that she never knew that passed away. However, <laughs> we don't exactly know what Nina inherits in the will, but she does throughout the book inherit quite a few um, really interesting relatives. And some are nice and some aren't so nice, but she finds herself in the middle of this new family. And it's just a very fun, breezy book about um, life in general and unexpected things in life. And um, the characters in the book were just so much fun. Another book that I read in 2022 that I really enjoyed is The Bromance Club. And The Bromance Club is the story of Gavin and his wife, Thea. And Gavin is a professional baseball player who has a big fight with his wife and he moves out and he turns to his his friends on the baseball team for support and they support him by inviting him to their book club where they read romance books in order to learn about women in order to gain insight into women and um it's just really sweet and they try to teach gavin how to you know bring the romance back into his marriage and win his wife back over and they even give him some fashion tips and help him get dressed and plan some dates and it's just a fun book um about the male perspective as men try to navigate the the crazy lives of of uh, their wives and, you know, just try to find some, some romance um, in their lives and the bromance club, lots of fun. Um, the last one that I'm gonna talk about is Lessons in Chemistry. And that one is the story of Elizabeth Zott. Now that one, I say for last, I really loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun, but it has some sad things in it too. It has some heavy content in it, but it's also, um, it's got some very dry humor that I enjoyed, and it's the story of Elizabeth Zott, who is a chemist, and she wants to be taken seriously, I believe, in the 1950s. So here she is, this woman in this man's world, and, you know, she's very, very brilliant, and she just wants to be a chemist, but unfortunately, the world doesn't want to respect her as, you know, a woman with a mind. And so she ends up uh, <laughs> hosting a TV show where she teaches about cooking and she has this daughter named Mad. To give you an example of the humor in the book, there are some sad things and some upsetting things in the book, but there's just a funny sense of humor interwoven throughout the story. And one example of that is that she names her daughter Mad because she's just given birth and she thinks the nurse is asking her how she feels and all she can say is mad. She's so mad when it turns out they're trying to ask her what she would like to name her child. So she ends up calling her child Maddie. Um, there's just some funny little humor in that one. And um, it was just, I liked that book. I liked also Elizabeth's relationship with her neighbor, Harriet. Harriet is this nosy neighbor. And that was a little bit funny too, even though it was a story of friendship between Elizabeth and Harriet. You find out um, from Harriet's point of view, she's done some snooping into Elizabeth's life before Elizabeth even and met her and she's just a very sweet um, but very nosy neighbor and they end up Elizabeth ends up with this dog too that she named 630 because that's what time um, she found the dog and so it's just a lot of funny little quirky things in that book that I enjoy and so there you have it the five funniest books that I read last year in 2022 I look forward to a great year of reading in 2023 and I hope that you will check out some of these books and just laugh out loud. Bye for now.